Oh, right here. Yeah, uh, Jfis having a bit of an easier time in the bracket due to Malachi dropping out. That was somebody he didn't have to play. Well, same with Quaff. <laughs> Quaff, who ended, who would have played him in losers. Malachi? Yeah, if, if like he just lost in winners or something. Uh. It's been quite a tournament so far. Yeah, it's something. Anyway, we're gonna go right on into it. This is gonna be Stereo Kid rocking the Nest versus DVD rocking the Toon Link. This is a New York, New Jersey team kill if we've ever seen one. Yeah. Well, winner of this will make it into top eight loser side. So, um. Stereo Kid actually coming off game five set against Thunders. Oh, he's going for the down air spike. He's wild. Yeah, Stereo Kid definitely is a. Uh, he can make it happen. He's the kind of guy who, like, on a good day, he will just combo you to death and you won't know what to do about it. Yeah, I always say, Stereo's punish game is nothing to be slept on. But DBD has a lot of experience in this matchup. He has a Ness of his own. I don't, um, I don't know if his Ness counts. <laughs> no, no, trust, trust, trust. DBD's Ness better than mine. Wow, about that. I'm like 100% on that. <laughs> his Ness better than mine. Oh, we do have down throw up there. That will yeah, kill. Yeah, I'm not sure. DVD had real bad DI on it, the uh, down it, throw. It honestly doesn't really matter. If he DI's away, Ness can still get the dash forward up air. Nah. <laughs> like, like, just lying. <laughs> We're back to this neutral state. Yeah, this um, is actually really difficult for Ness to get in on Toon Link, typically. Yeah, usually Toon Link's kind of running away, pulling a lot of bombs. It was a good bomb uh, near confirmed by DVD. Oh, yeah, he has a bomb in hand. <laughs> Drops it from the forward air. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. Flying, yeah. Oh, falling up air. Stereo Kid looking for an edge guard with PK Flash. Not going to get it. Great tech by DVD. That's a stereo staple. Is the uh, down tilt, immediate double jump cancel down air jab reset. And he never waits for the tech. It's always a jab. Yeah, yeah, he'll it's always It's just so it out, fast, yeah. though. Every Almost everyone misses that tech. Yep. And this is a great combo by DVD. Throws that bomb oh. over there. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Using that hook shot to throw it over there. We have a grab again. He's gonna get the back air. Now the, that DI yeah, was a little that bit questionable. Was definitely bad. Yeah. Ooh, invincibility. I don't know if like DVD thinks he can jump out of down throw because he super can't. Yeah, he definitely. I mean, he should not definitely know. He and I play all the time. But um, DVD, so he, he's a Toon Link player. He's actually, he doesn't like to camp. Right. He goes in with the game plan that he's going to camp, and then he just plays, like, a lot more aggro than you may expect. Right. On a perfect Toon Link, you just have to run away forever, man. Yeah. It's, it's a struggle. Once again, a good combo here by him. I believe the last time these two played was actually Olympus. Wow. I'm not mistaken. For two people in the same region, that's pretty insane. Yeah, and Stereo Kid took it. Yeah, but that time DVD baiting out the jump, getting the down air. DVD with a full stock lead right now. Yeah, and Stereo Kid taking a deep breath. Maybe he's uh, still feeling his set from Thomas, losing the Thunders. That was also like super suspect DI. Yeah, but it was, in this low percent, Stereo wasn't ready for it. Yeah, that, it, it that... sort of worked out because all he got was a 15% back air instead of a typical Stereo punish, which could be a lot worse. Oh, it was a very good neutral get up. Stereo Kid looking for a way in. DVD continuing to run away. Nice good grab. By DVD. Gets him a little bit of damage. He's able to pull a little farther into the lead. Oh, this could be really big for DVD. But the Nair actually comes in front of the uh, Toon Link forward air. Ooh. And this is really bad. Down throw. Yeah, this time he DIs it correctly and he lives because of it. And another bait on the jump! Ooh. Not quite going to be enough to kill, but that up B is going to take it. And DVD is going to pull away with game one. Yeah, he's looking solid right now. Yeah, Stereo, his punishes were not looking so great. At least not as great as we're t used to. Not, and, and on the other side of that, DVD's punishes were actually pretty yeah. insane. Yeah, DVD got a hit, he got a good amount of damage. Yeah, Toon Link combos are pretty easy on this because of that crappy double jump. Yeah. But, I mean, even then, DVD was doing some like seriously optimal stuff. Can we turn the fan so it actually like goes toward us as well as keychain? Thank you. There we go. So we're getting into game number two. Counterpick is gonna be Smashville. I think it's a pretty good counterpick. Um, not the way it's looking right now, though. Yeah, I regret everything I said. 
Uh, Ness is uh, pretty good against in this matchup against on the long flat stages. Right, because his, his pretty... combos go forever. Right, and uh, while his pla uh, punishes extend his platform, his platforms extend his punish game. There we go. Um, they also help Toon Link a lot with sharking and his own punishes. That's fine. Yeah. So DVD starting off real strong this game too. Let's see yeah. what Stereo can do with this punish. And here we go. That's the kind of Stereo Kid combo we're expecting. Yep. Ooh. Not able to get the bat, and he misses the punish on the platform. But the thing we've noticed is that DVD is continuing a lot of his combos with like reading the eye and reading movement. Yeah. And just putting projectiles exactly where Stereo wants to be. And this should be a down throw up air. Can he get? No, he decides hey, not to go I for it. I don't think it works. Definitely does. You just gotta dash and do it right. You gotta believe. Yeah, Stereo uh, having a hard time closing out stocks between the first two games so far. It's looking like, you know, Toon Link's living a long time, and that's not going to kill across the stage. Yeah, he needed to promo a little bit more. Oh my goodness, he actually had the read on that, but he's going to get grabbed for his troubles. Yeah. It's even stocks. I think DVD wanted an edge cancel there, and the moving platform kind of tripped him up. Down throw, up smash, not going to get the kill quite yet, but that will. Great bomb movement from DVD. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty staple to link combo, the bomb into up B. Yeah, it looks like Stereo is just having a hard time getting in. He's not, DVD is not giving the, him the opportunity to show off his punish game. But in that same regard, Stereo's not making his punish game work. Right, like that, that's supposed to be this matchup, right? Toon Link is supposed to be keeping out Ness, making it very difficult for Stereo Kid. But on the other side of that, if he gets in like he is right now, he needs to do more than three hits. <laughs> yeah, so a big thing he did there is he did a down air to put a DVD back on the ground. He should have double jumped, canceled the down air so he was on the ground with him. Yep, exactly. And right now he's trying to just rack on the damage, but... DVD with some great DI has not been dying to anything. And a back air up, he is going to take another stock. Stereo Kid's shaking his head. Yeah, he's definitely not happy with the way this set is going right now. Even even the fact that he's losing shouldn't, isn't that bad a thing. It's the fact that it's, he's kind of getting picked apart. Yeah. That. Ooh, interesting mix nice. up. Waits for the attack on the platform. It. Yeah, wow, that was pretty cool. Alright, can he do something here? Great SDI out of that magnet. Stereo continuing to actually win the neutral game now, so maybe he can turn things around. He gets That's the down, down air. air! That's a stereo punish if I've ever seen one. He took DVD stock real fast. The neutral game like switched up. Stereo can now backing up, shooting a lot more PK fire. Yeah, it looks like maybe Stereo realized what he has to do, and let's see what DVD can do to kind of counter that. DVD now went in the advantage, throws the bomb down, not going to get a kill for it. Now this is starting to get really scary. One more bomb there, and that'll probably be the end for Stereo Kid, but now Stereo Kid has a grab. He gets the re-grab on the platform. Ooh, DVD mash out an up air. Tink's up air is extremely fast. Yeah, a great oh tech. Oh my god, in the air dodge! Well, but DVD teching the down air of his own. And he oh, is able to take that's it. That's gonna take it. 2-0 in DVD's favor now. But we saw some uh, shreds of genius from Stereo Kid yeah, at the end of that game too. A couple adjustments Stereo made, and um, he was pulling that back. So where is gonna be Stereo's uh, final counter pick? Because if he wins the set, he has to do it the hard way on DVD's counter picks. Yep. 2-0 for DVD right now. DVD one game away from a top eight berth. Yeah, DVD, it's been a while since he's been in the top eight. Was Shots fired the last time? Uh, Blacklisted 2. Oh, that's right. I hey, forgot. I forgot he, he almost won that tournament. Yeah, he got second at Blacklisted 2, getting 6 0 by Malachi and Grant. But anyway, we're not at Blacklisted 2. Stereo back to Smashville. Uh, I think that's a pretty fine pick. Yep. Nope. Interesting. Not getting a grab out of this, just going for three down airs. Yeah, I actually think the down air was actually better. It's so hard to turn around grab the end lag of that move. Nicely done by DVD. Has him off stage. Now DVD off stage, and he even gets pushed off by dash attack. Yep, he's gonna have to... 
This is very difficult, and no, he cannot make it back. But Stereo, what are you doing, dog? He's uh, SDing, apparently. Or trying to. Stereo doing the res lift and kind of retreating to the platform using PK Fire. I forgot that was the res lift. Yeah. I completely forgot. But uh, pretty early percent kill by DVD there with the back air up the... Oh, this is really bad news for DVD. A jab reset on a platform. God. And this combo game is actually still kind of going. DVD still has not yet gotten his footing. Yeah, Stereo's looking a lot faster than he was in the first uh, game and a half. Oh my goodness, the mix-ups on shield and the pivot grab. And he oh, misses he, the read. Yeah, a little tech club there. That's a really bad angle for Ness to have to go at. And now he has to up B with a bomb in hand. Bomb but saves him. Bomb saves him. him. Oh, and up B. Now, oh, it is enough. Great Nair. Not going to be enough to kill. Wow. Double jump was used. He is going to recover low after all of that. Up air should... Oh, it does yeah, not connect not too high. Yeah. Percent, yeah. Oh, light him up in the up smash. That's one way to do it. That's one way to confirm a kill at 200%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up smash will definitely start killing around that percent. <laughs> <laughs> right around there. Oh, wow. No jump right now for no Stereo jump, Kid. Yeah. This is not looking good. He is above the stage, but... Yeah, he took a lot of percent in that interaction. Oh, so much damage from DVD. Yeah, that, that up B sucked him in. Nicely done. Everything done perfectly by DVD. As yeah, he now has a stock lead. One kill away from going to top 8. Yeah, Stereo's got to find that punish game again that he had at the end of game 2. Because without that, he's, he's not going to be making this comeback. Here we go. Okay. Something started. Nicely done. Following the tech out of down downer, but he misses everything after that. Interesting. Bomb connects, but he does have a grab here. No magnet bear gonna connect. Cast up B. And get it's low. And a fantastic sweet spot. That was some Jose stuff. DVD looking so desperately for this up B for the finish. Oh, back here connect. Back here gonna connect. Don't count stereo out. He gets one grab. It could spell the end or one opening. That's the launcher. Oh my, he can get a fair. Magnet? No, no way. my god. DVD rolls his eyes. <laughs> DVD's so mad. I mean, he knew he could have meteor canceled that. That was like the ultimate Ness, like, I need this stare to work. I gotta watch it again. Yeah, we're gonna watch the replay. Watch it again. Here it is. Dash attack into triple up air. And then back air, fair down air. Six stuff, 86 oh my damage. Oh god. <laughs> that, that was... Oh, somebody in the chat, DVD best two link drops a dot dot dot. That's so funny. <laughs> so, I mean, that that is a momentum shift if I've ever seen one. I mean, now, as we said earlier, he has to win the next two games on DVD's counter picks. And it looks like we are going to Delfino's. Three, yeah, see, two, okay. One, this is why I don't like this for DVD. I like it for Toon Link Ness. I don't like it for DVD Ness. Why? Because DVD starts his games with the game plan that he's going to camp. And then eventually, he goes in. He get he He's pretty notorious for abandoning his game plan about halfway through the set. And unfortunately, we're on a big stage. If by, by the time, by now, he probably has like abandoned his game plan, right? <laughs> yes. So. Jab, okay. He goes for another down air, but doesn't get the third one. I'm so, Stereo is like famous for being, he has no jump, by the way. Dash attack. This is looking really bad. But what is Stereo famous for? He is famous for um, his double jump cancel down air in neutral. Uh, not in neutral, in his punish, but he keeps going for the regular down air. I'm gonna trade stocks there. I'm sure Stereo is happy about that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's even laughing over there. And he, I think he's happy he got the uh, the crowd to chant for him in the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, the, the small victories, you know. So here DVD is showing off this uh, bomb text, just throwing bombs from above and how hard it is for Ness to deal with. Oh, no jump. This is really bad for Stereo Kid. Not, wow. not a good angle. It went below the platform I think he was going for. Uh, Nice, nice by DVD. Steals the ledge. Knew the sweet spot was coming. Yeah, that was a great angle by Stereo to avoid something like an F smash, but DVD had it covered. 
DVD. He is camping. He's waiting on those platforms. He's not pulling items. There we go. But he's definitely running away and trying to get set up before he goes in. And look at this combo. Oh my goodness. 80 damage. Wow. Nice grab. Up E2. Not going to be enough across this big stage, but... Wow, that was the, the pre-SDI. Great roll to get away from Jab Grab. Stereo Kid looking for a grab of his own. DVD not willing to give it to him. Yeah, DVD just, he's actually sticking to his game plan, it seems, and just going to the top platforms and throwing bombs down. Nicely done, yeah, Jab Jab to fall through up air. And he is going to take a stock. DVD now up three stocks to one. Stereo Kid going to need to do that last stock of last game three times. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot more difficult on a stage like this now with this percent lead by DVD. He's got Stereo upstage. It's not looking good for the kid. Oh, the double roll. Oh. Not as good as the triple roll, in uh, my opinion. And then the quadruple roll just trumps them all. <laughs> All right, we have a grab from Stereo. Uh, it was a little ambiguous if he was going to land on that platform or not. That definitely made it difficult. On the PK fire misses, so now no he has no jump. jump. DVD. And oh, this time he doesn't get the tech. DVD with a 3-1 win. We're going to see DVD in top, top eight. eight. And good stuff to, to DVD. Yeah, DVD uh, said that he really wants to, he knows he's fallen off a lot, and he knows um, he hasn't gone to a lot of stuff, and when he has, he hasn't done as well as he's wanted to. So he uh, really wanted to do well at this tournament. So. Absolutely, and I, and I know he actually, he got here this morning.